Where are we going? Taco Bell! You gotta run faster, it's a wide lens. And you're out. I'm, I'm gonna ride with you, I'm not taking my car. You're not gonna take your car? Thanks, Gav. All right, well today is a travel day and we are off to New York City. It's me and Ellie and Sophie. Seems like I only ever go to New York with Sophie. Let's go. So in the podcast this week, I talked about Austin being perpetually under construction. And right here, you can see behind me, the elevators in the parking garage at the airport. Don't work and haven't worked for who knows how many months. And behind me, that's the door that I was talking about. The main entrance to the airport has been boxed up and no one can use it for probably going on almost a year at this point. Not available. Coming soon. Pardon our dust. Don't use that door. Use this door. No, don't use that door. Use this door. And one of my favorite things about traveling with Sophie is that she's always doing something kind of ridiculous. Like she's doing some 30 day period where she can only eat twigs and seeds or she's only wearing white, you know, or something like that for 30 days. So I had to figure out, like, try to guess what weird thing Sophie's doing during this trip to New York City. That's gonna ruin it for everyone. Hi, Sophie. Hello. So we were having a debate over what weird thing are you doing now? I'm oil training my hair. Oil training? Yeah. What is that? You train your hair so that it'll la last longer between shampoos, so. I don't wash my hair for five days. That's what I'm doing. When you do these things, like later, are you happy you did them? Like, has there been any of these things that have like stuck long term in your life? Like five what? years from now, will you be rubbing coconut oil in your head? I don't know, but I'm in it now. I can't turn back. <laughs> Got the little gifts for you. Yeah. Show me that place I get a gift for Ashley. Yeah. Can we do a cross or are we just gonna go? Let's do that. So we're doing a little bit of a press tour today. And there's Sophie, who you may remember from my previous, previous New York vlog. And uh, Sophie's great at directions. So today is a host of press interviews. Uh, I'm gonna be talking to people all day long and why do you do these press interviews then? We do these press interviews to promote the various shows that we create for Rooster Teeth Network. Now, these are just like meetings in conference rooms or like nice restaurants for lunch. And I don't really need help in that. I, mean, I wouldn't need an assistant to assist me in those kinds of things. So we're trying to come up with something else for Ellie to do to continue her skill tree training. So we think we have a plan for Ellie today. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm on my way to find this martial arts place. Um, I believe it's just down Park Avenue. I say just down. That's looking like a really long way. But hopefully I'll be able to like actually show you my martial arts skills, or lack thereof. The whole aim is that like by my next performance review, I'll be like, proper badass. And Bernie will be like, hey, have you done any of these things? And I can be like, yes sir, I have them all. Sophie and I just uh, finished a very lovely lunch uh, with someone from, can we say who they were with? Yeah, yeah. With TV Guide, which is a guide for your television. You should check out their publication. And uh, it's such a lovely day in New York. We're just gonna like walk for a while. We have an hour and a half to kill between different press meetings. I, uh, I don't exactly know my way around New York, so we'll see how that goes. We're debating, should we go back to the hotel and then we can take a nap before we go to our next thing? Or we can just go get a coffee somewhere and do that. You know, we just want to enjoy this really nice day in New York. And uh, just beautiful weather and great to walk around. I wish Ellie could enjoy this. 
Where am I supposed to go? Is that hundred dollars? No idea where this place is. All right, one meeting down. Yeah. Had a lovely breakfast. Now you're having breakfast and coffee. Yeah. What a lovely day. Are you enjoying Beautiful. yourself? Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. It's nice. New York's nice right now. New York is nice. I'm gonna die. It's the irony, the irony that I've been sent. I've been sent to find self-defense classes and I'm going to die in my pursuit. So it is an absolutely lovely New York day and Sophie and I are deciding to sit outside and enjoy our drink. I got the green tea. What'd you get, Sophie? Green. She got the green, whatever the green is. So that's what she's drinking. What a, just a beautiful New York day. Some of us are on a very dangerous mission, it turns out. What if I don't find it? Oh. So perfect. Did you get a uh, crunchy crash? Oh my gosh. So, Sophie and I are going to a park for the day. Bernie, where have you sent me? You know, we know Ellie's busy doing something. He's going to be having a lovely time. Probably talking about how, what a lovely day it is. What a lovely day. Apparently it's, it's in there. Okay. All right, I think I'm now close to this place. Um, it should be here pretty soon. Why is the street in New York scared? It's extremely condemned. Okay, so I think this is it. Believe it or not, I think. I think I've actually found it. Hi, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna die. On a southern side of like a terrifying building in the middle of like downtown New York. And there's nothing but this lift. And Bernie's trying to kill me. Oh my god. Check this out. What? <laughs> Which one should I go to? <laughs> Bernie. This better be work. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> no, it's cool. I'm totally cool. I can do this. No problem. Okay, so I finally managed to find it. I'm inside of this martial arts academy and about to do my first Jun Kundo lesson. Um, not sure what to expect, but I'm excited. Hopefully I'll be in a better position to defend Bernie once I've done this. And who knows, maybe I can do it in Austin when I get back. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so I'll check in with you after the class and I'll show you how it went. Bye. So that was my first Jeet Kundo class. So they wouldn't let me film actually inside the class because there's like professional Mai Tai boxes in there, which is embarrassing. But I think I can, I'll be able to show you exactly what I learned. Hopefully I'm gonna get back to Austin and find some classes there and then like come my performance review, I'll be able to show Benny how I can kick some ass and it'll be dead cool. Now I have to try and get back to my hotel. Get ready to go and have dinner. Backhand slap. Yeah, so you backhand with your fist. Gotcha. And slap. So it was this double move. Backhand slap, and then two punches there, and then you like have to like lift up on your toes and punch 
over your shoulder like this. It's, it's really intense, but like the idea is that eventually you'll have like weapons in your hands. So it's like, but now apparently I have no strength, is what he said. Yeah, explain that. Yeah, so the guy came up to me, the instructor came up to me after class and was like, you are very weak. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me? He's like, you have, you have no strength. And I was like, oh, he's like, so this class will be good for you. And I was like, thanks. What did I tell you? Bulk, bulk up, shoulders. First meeting I said, bulk up. Bulk up. <laughs>